Welcome back. We're continuing our quest for the full reset automation and the farmer was replaced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember where we left off. I think we did pumpkins last, right? Let me just run the code to show where we're at. We're trying to add a bunch of unlocks after the polyculture and after pumpkins. So we've tried expanding cactus fertilizer, all these things, and we are Continue to work on this. Let's see how the code looks right now. Unlocking a bunch of things. Got pumpkins there, briefly. And now, our code is harvesting a bunch of wood. And the reason is because the next thing we're trying to unlock is expand, which requires 64,000 pumpkins which ends up requiring like half a million carrots, which then requires like 7 million wood. So we're building up our wood and grass. Yeah, no, it needs a ton of grass. Yeah, carrots also need a bunch of grass. Oh yeah. So it's taking forever. Look at this, we're already almost past 12 hours, which is our, our goal for finishing the whole reset. So we gotta change the unlock order or, or optimize our code. Because this is not working well. Yeah, wow. It's, it's never harvesting trees, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But once we unlocked polyculture, putting trees in every other cell actually should increase the amount of hay that we harvest. Because some of those hay get benefited by the tree companion just by random chance. And now it's planting carrots. Yeah, our code is really bad. Oh, they did the pumpkin part quickly. Yeah, we yes, got the yeah. expand. Yeah. But look at this. Oh, Our code like says we needed like 7 million hay and wood, and then we used like 100,000 of each. Wait, yeah, what? If we were just planting a single pumpkin oh. and waiting until it oh. grew and harvesting it, we would get one pumpkin from that for the eight oh. carrots. But in reality, we're getting a lot more pumpkins per So like if carrot. we were to plant pumpkins individually in each cell and harvest them without them being merged, and then we would need using our carrot. calculations correct. I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Right now, yeah, we're using the number of pumpkins that we need to harvest, but the number of pumpkins that we're planting is not equal to the number of pumpkins we're gonna harvest. Dev, um, calculate harvested or expected pumpkins, let's say. Okay, pumpkins. Yeah, well, let's try it. Let's just try it. Yeah, let's just see if this improves it to start, right? Yeah. If we don't end up with 7 million too much wood, then we know we improved something. Mm. So is this the point here where it's starting to accumulate the wood? Yeah, yeah. but that was a lot less now. It's a lot less. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. We only need like 1 12th. Oh my gosh. Wait, so why was it still overestimating it so much? Because we're not accounting for polyculture. Is that true? Okay. We're, um... Yeah, I mean, I guess polyculture is that beneficial. Wait, what? Alright, we finally found what the issue was. Um, every time we're calculating how many carrots we need to plant, we're multiplying the cost in carrots for each pumpkin, and multiplying that by, you know, how many pumpkins we think we'll need to grow. But in reality, as we upgrade things and as the cost for these items go up, the yield also goes up, and they go up in tandem. So really, we don't need to multiply this at all. This can just be one times calculated uh, pumpkins planted or just directly map it to that. So when we run this now, it's no longer going to take us 12 hours to get <laughs> where we were. It's not uh, what I'm doing. Okay, there's some issue. All right. So if we run it now, you can see that it no longer takes 12 hours for it to get uh, to this breakpoint. That last one was a bad C. No, I was gonna cut it out. Now you just. So now you can see it no longer. <laughs> so now you can see it no longer takes 12 hours for it to get uh, to this breakpoint. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so you can see now that it no longer takes. Increase the dead pumpkin buffer. Point. Okay. See? Well, now we're six, but yeah, we'll increase this dead pumpkin five. buffer. <laughs> 20. We'll do five. Why not? Let's just yeah. be safe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna keep all that in. Got a lot oh, of carrots. Great, yeah. awesome. This is looking good. All right, we're back in business. We're back in business. Okay, so we can unlock mazes now. Oh, 
Let's do it. Yeah, we need to be careful with this one though, because as we change order things, we might not have 1k weird substance. Like we don't have any any script for getting weird substance. Uh, items dot gold. Oh, gold. gold. Okay. Nice. Harvest gold. Harvest gold. We came in today thinking it was gonna be breezy, or I did at least. Yeah. Be easy, easy, easy. And then we spent 10 minutes thinking it was gonna be completely impossible. <laughs> And now we're back to thinking it's breezy. Oh, yeah. This is something, right? Let's run it. Um, instead of the pumpkin requirement. That could work. Yeah. I mean, it's probably going to work now. We, we just missed that thing. Let's just let it do its thing. Yeah, we saw the maze. It's 2K. We actually got it. It was really fast, too. Wow. It was really fast. And it got us exactly what we need? I'm actually shocked. So like now we can actually unlock the mega farm and it's going to. Yeah, it's affordable. Oh, okay. This un okay. This, this is a new phase. We're close. Now that we have mega farms. We're closer. We're in phase two here. Only a minute, an hour and 19 in. Now we have mega farm. Only two drones. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I like the idea that we were talking about earlier where if we need weird substance... We could farm it, yeah. Do you want to create another script for it or just run the pumpkin? We could, yeah. Because we could just run the pumpkin. We have a lot of fertilizer, look at that. Oh, that's true. Don't we just need to, like... We just need to spam a tree. <laughs> Alright, we've got an idea where um, we need a lot of weird substance because we want to accumulate a lot of gold. And in order to do that, what we're thinking of doing is we're going to plant a tree maybe on the very like bottom left corner of the farm. All around it is going to be hay because we've just run a clear or something. What we're going to do is we're going to check the companion of that tree. If the companion is grass, then we'll use fertilizer to grow it, harvest it, and then keep going on that cycle. So if we plant the tree and the companion's not grass, that means it won't get the polyculture bonus multiplier. So we're just going to harvest it immediately, not let it grow plant another one until we get one that has the proper polyculture companion. Use fertilizer, harvest it, and because we're using fertilizer, we're gonna get a lot of weird substance and a lot of wood too. Um, so we saw this strategy kind of used in someone else's uh, speed run. So we're gonna copy this. So let's try it out. All right. Look at that. It's going up like crazy. Oh my gosh. That's good. That's working quite well. Nice. Okay. So we have a script that will get us our desired number of weird substance, which is great. So going back to... <laughs> we just got 8 million weird substance. Okay. <laughs> we were just at 10 million before yeah. we started that? Oh my yeah. gosh. Wow. Okay. This is here, so when we try to unlock Mega Farm and we don't have enough weird substance, it should sugar. Well, Mega Farm up. costs gold, so we're gonna try to harvest gold, but by the when we try to harvest gold, if we don't have enough weird substance to harvest that gold, oh. then we harvest the weird substance. Okay. Right. Okay. Where are we at? Let's well, check we, the upgrades. We hit the breakpoint, definitely. But let's check the upgrades though. Let's, I want to see yeah. the Dragon Farm twice. Good substance. Yeah. yeah, twice. Nice. So we have four drones. So what's next? We're trying to actually unlock stuff. More stuff. I, I was thinking cactus and then mazes. Get a better okay. multiplier on gold. I don't okay. know. So we have to bring our cactus stuff in though. We haven't done that yet. Yeah. Alright. Where were we? Um, we were doing gold, I think. Is that right? So I can just run it and see what we're no doing idea, right now. <laughs> yeah. It's more work to think about it than just running it. Okay, we got some flowers. Oh, we're doing mazes, yeah. Nice. Okay, what's happening? Oh, we're doing cactus. Cactus failed for some reason. Operands cannot be used, so it was trying to do cactus, and at some point it just didn't plant enough cactus, probably because there's not enough of the dependent stuff. Pumpkins are oh. gone, hay's gone, oh. yeah, stuff is gone. Dang it, we stuck so on there's that. some kind of dependency issue. 
to me. Okay, so what we had before, we were actually just calculating the needed loops for the number of pumpkins when we needed to go the extra step of actually calculating how many pumpkins we need to go through that many loops. So just get rid of this calculation here. Now we're using that value. Now let's run through and see what it looks like now. So before I was getting stuck on harvesting cactus because it just didn't have enough pumpkins. And now it's going through cactus. Yeah, it's much further than it was before. Oh yeah. Cool. That That's was the fantastic. issue. It was just a dependency calculation issue. Nice. So yeah, you're right. It was worth going through that and <laughs> making sure it was right instead of just yeah doing yeah. random multipliers. Mm, it's going to the expand because it needs 500k. Oh, pumpkins. the expand is what took so much longer. So 512k was using, just a lot. Okay. We're not using multiple drones for the hay and the carrots and the pumpkins. Yeah, you're right. Like at this point in the game, it's expecting us to have multi drone yeah. stuff. Okay, so maybe that should be our next goal. Actually, is like we could add in conditions for multi drone. Add, for that, that would improve a lot of stuff. Yeah, maybe we should. Should we do it for the sunflower or for the yeah for the power? That'd be good too. I mean, probably all of them are gonna need it. Yeah. So I could just. It's it's making sense to me why the twelve hours. Yeah, people are getting like that time. time. Right, because if you were to just from here brute force it, mm -hmm. you still wouldn't even get 12 hours, probably. We have a big update for you fans. Uh, yeah, so we worked a little more today and we've added multi drone to a lot of our crops. I think we've done it for all of them except gold at this point. Um, so let's show. So I think last time we were here, we had it already for which one? Just hey, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even remember. What do we have last cactus? Time? We have for cactus yeah. last time. Yeah. Now we've added it for a few more. So let's show you. First, we'll show you hay. This one's pretty straightforward. Oh, here we go. Okay. So now it's in the hay harvesting stage, and mega farm is unlocked. So if we step through this now, I won't step through it, but I'll throw a breakpoint in this drone action. You can see each time it spawns a drone, and it goes along planting hay in trees in a crisscross manner. And this is just to take advantage of polyculture. Like if we were doing all hay, every single hay we harvest would only have the normal multiplier. But since we have trees interspersed throughout it, once in a while we'll get a nice, uh, what's it called? Polyculture benefit. Um, but yeah, that goes through and does that. We also added it to carrot. So let me throw a breakpoint in carrots. Okay, now it's in carrot mega farm. So let's step through this one in a similar way. Let me go to the drone action. You can see each action, it's tilling some tiles, putting carrots down and leaving hay in the other one. So again, we're doing carrots and hay here to get to take advantage of polyculture for the harvest for carrots. Uh, we did sunflowers also, let me find that. All right, and you can see here, it got to a break point um, for the power. Uh, we've gotten to the else statement where we do actually have at least two unlocks on the mega farm. So let's go in here. And one by one, watch it perform the multi-drone actions. So it planted sunflowers everywhere. You can see as it goes through, it's harvesting uh, sunflowers and it's just going iteratively, iteratively based on petal count. Going through, getting more and more sunflowers with less and less petals until it gets all the way through, replants them and just keeps going. Um, yeah, nice. Oh, pumpkins is the other one. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull that one up. And actually, this one, we're setting the world size, just the number of drones we have, um, just to make it simpler and not have to deal with waiting for drones to despawn. Where you're spawning drones. Oh, maybe. But this is fine. It's going through, yeah. Creative pumpkins, looping through, replanting with fertilizer, any of the dead ones. Going through one last time, checking if there's any missing. Now we got the big pumpkin. It's identified that through a check function and now it's harvesting. And it keeps going. So yeah, those are, that was basically our main goal today was to add multi-drone capabilities to a lot of our crops. But yeah, we'll see. We might be close to trying to get uh, these requirements, the 2 million bones and 1 million treasure chest. But if, if those take way too long, we'll have to unlock more things, make that quicker.
we added a bunch of unlocks. We ported our dinosaur code to our full reset. And should we see how it looks now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, like this? Yeah. Our goal is 12 hours. Ran out of power there. Yeah. And something to keep track of. And we ran out of power again. Oh! No, not that time. Okay, not bad. Mm hmm. Oh, we're out of power again. Oh, it's, yeah, during a really long cactus, too. The cacti are just. They take a, they long, take a time. long time, yeah. Um, but yeah, global rank nice. 205. Let's see, There's so. More people that are... We're a little ways off of the 28 minute mark for first place, but. Not too bad. Let's see how we stack up. Okay, this leaderboard doesn't even go past 30. No, it's 300. Oh, Eight it's hours. like 300. Okay, cool. Only at the top 300 are on the leaderboard. Gotcha. So we're on it. We're That's on great. it. We did it. Let's see if we can find us. It doesn't show until next time. Oh, anyway, there it is. Nice. Number 205. Sweet. So we did see that power was running out a little early. Let's try to take care of that, right? I'm just uh yeah, I don't know. Updating the multiplier. Maze. Still just single drone maze. We never improved that. Hmm. Doing some cactus. It's running out of power. It's definitely gonna run out of power soon. It's amazing because I think to improve our full reset time, we have to kind of go for every single leaderboard in existence. Yeah, I mean that's the best way to do fastest reset. Woo! Yeah. Global we'll rank 180, top 200. All right, we met our goal of 12 hours. We could spend an hour rearranging leaderboards or even like doing multi drone on gold. And maybe we will later, but. The problem is it would take 10 hours for us to do that. Yeah. Not one hour. True. We're very slow. Yeah. So I think we're pretty satisfied with getting the achievement. Who knows? We might work on this again in the future. Yeah, stay tuned. Um, we did it. That concludes our footage of the farmer was replaced. That's just uh, in case that they're. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. No, <laughs> what are you doing? Do we lose progress if I do that? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Save the code at least. Oh shoot, the code. Yeah, I didn't save the code. I'm sure it's cached. I'm sure it's cached. Let's see if I still have this here. It's gone. No, open the VS code though. Oh yeah, it's still in the cache here. Okay, let me save this real quick. Oh. Just from here. Okay. Like it's all up here. I can save this. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop recording while we do this.